we're gonna start today's vlog off here at the skate park. I've been kind of just, over the last week, I've been riding every single day. Every single day, I've at least spent an hour at the skate park just kind of relearning tricks, relearning everything that I've had to relearn um, as it's been like six years since I've taken it seriously. Uh, and due to that feeling, I've, I've been in a, a state of like almost euphoria, like a, a nostalgic feeling of life uh, where I've kind of looked back at all my successes, looked back at all my failures, and it brought back this weird feeling that it's very hard to explain. I'm, st I'm still gonna try to explain it, but it it's very hard to explain. Six years ago, six years ago, I quit BMX. And I quit for a few reasons, one being that my friends kind of um, all quit riding and it was just this huge thing where I just didn't really want to ride anymore after that because you kind of lose the fun in riding. I could never really figure out why I, why else I quit because I still loved the sport and I just couldn't figure out what was holding me back from going, picking up my bike and just letting myself ride and enjoy what I had been enjoying for such a long time. And I realized that I'm young but I've had success and I feel like a lot of other young kids that have success are the same way that we just find Whatever your mentality is, is kind of how you're, you're driven. So I found that, I found, I, I basically said the skate park in my mind was an unsuccessful place back then when I was like 16. And basically saw a bunch of older men on skateboards or on bikes, living with their parents with no money, driving really shitty cars. And there's nothing against that. I, I, I respect the way they live their life, but I, it wasn't for me. And so I, in my mind, I, I thought that if I had gone, if I continued to go to the skate park, I would end up like that. So I think that was a big factor in me deciding not to, to ride anymore. And after riding this last week and still being successful and still handling meetings and still handling everything that I need to handle, like my drop is in three weeks. And before I forget, I did go, I picked up a helmet over the weekend. Uh, I highly recommend if you are under the age of 18 that you wear a helmet. There is no excuse to not put something on your head. Uh, I've seen way too many YouTubers, way too many people that I've used to skate with or bike with that just have fallen off the smallest tricks and just really, really injured themselves. This helmet right here is actually a pro level two. Um, I don't know the level system, I don't know what the highest is, but this basically means that it's not legal uh, for most places as it's, it's do you see that? Do you see that? It's not supposed to bend like that. It's supposed to be pretty safe, but uh, I just happen to like having a little steez, and this is the most steezy helmet on the market right now. I have not yet to find anything else, and it just, I like to look good. So I just, I don't do anything too crazy, and I'm still learning, so this is a perfect helmet, but like I said, please just put something on your head, please. example of why we wear helmets every day because I happen to just fall and bust my little elbow. It's a little bitchy one but you know it counts. It's still a little bruise on a feeble 180 which is like the easiest trick in the book and I also I also change shirts and I change shoes uh, for a few reasons. One I sweat I sweated I sweated I sweat much into the metallic shirt and I was just feeling disgusting and I fell so it was dirty and I kind of get weird about dirt so I changed that off to this longer tee and then the Stan Smiths are really hard to ride BMX in because they're they're not as like flat like they're still a flat shoe but they're like when you step on the pedal it like it like this like it goes around the pedal with vans it just stays on the pedal so I put the vans on I do have to go buy some new ones but these will work I don't know if I'm gonna ride anymore my elbow kind of hurts If there's anything you should know about me at all, or if you're not, if you're like new to the channel and you don't know about my personality, I'm very obsessive, very compulsive, and I like things to be the exact same. So that's obsessive compulsive disorder. That means that I don't like when things are different, and that is no exception to things that I own. And on the BMX bike that I currently ride, there's one piece that has made me mentally just unsound for like days. Both pegs match very nicely. That peg. Nice. Look. Look at that peg. What the heck is that? That one issue that I'm having, that one peg that just 
throws me off just that, that little bit, I found a way to solve it. And that is to match it to every other, other peg, obviously, so it doesn't, it doesn't ma match anymore. And I found the perfect pegs over the weekend. Um, that's why I bought the other three. They only had three, so I couldn't get all four at the same time. But the new Merit Brandon Began signature pegs are at... The new Merit Brandon Began signature peg in a 4.75 is absolutely... Perfect. Do you see the difference? How nice that looks without this sh shitty C PVC pipe. Yo, who brought all of these back? I've missed them, what? There's my baby. Yo, these bikes right here, it's fun, like small story that I wanna throw in here. Uh, back my brother and I used to race dirt bikes back in the day when we were both in like eighth, seventh, eighth grade. We would go to the track like every weekend. He was competing. I, w I didn't take it seriously, but we both raced a little bit. He raced a lot. Uh, and he got to a point where he was on a race or practice or a race. I don't remember that fondly. But I was at a skate park and I get a phone call because he had hit a triple, which is they have three jumps in a row. Hit the jump going so fast. it When he landed, he smacked his head on the front of the bike, knocked himself out went over the, be, uh, the the berm, which is like the turn, hit the hit the berm going over at like whatever speed he was going and shattered his collarbone in seven places. And then I got a phone call that I had to get picked up. I had to get picked up right after that. So I get this phone call saying, you know, hurry, we're going to the hospital. You're gonna have to drive home. You don't have your license. I had to drive home on a, not even having a license, scariest day of my life. And ever since that day, we've only gone dirt biking one other time. And that one other time that we've gone dirt biking, my little sister, uh, she's now 18 so, or 17, so she's not that little, but she was hauling ass in the sand because we went to, to the desert and uh, she fishtailed. And when she fell, her handlebar hit her in the kidney and it ruptured part of her kidney and she had to be airlifted. And I also had to drive home without a license. So I don't think dirt biking's for us too much. <laughs> Check it, we got the 50, we got the 450, we got the, I believe that's 100. We got my 250, we got my brother's 250. We got the 150 over here. We got a quad sitting over there. I'm gonna set you guys down back over here. I'm gonna try to start one of them and just see if I can get a slight start. Major fail, not, not gonna work. Oh, there's fucking no gap. It's on the tip of my tongue. I know I came out here for something, but I can't remember why I came out here. And I know it wasn't to show the dirt bikes, I didn't even know they're out here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure it out. But there was, a, I had a, like an actual reason for coming outside, and now it's gonna bug me, because I don't remember why. You wanna see him dive for this ball? Yes, boy, yeah! coming outside before the dirt bikes and before playing with the dog and I remember what it was it was I was looking for a pair of ski goggles to transform into a pair of like better ski goggles than not just regular ski goggles if that makes sense without giving too much away I want to make a pair of ski goggles into designer ski goggles without buying any more designer ski goggles because I already have a pair of designer ski goggles does that make sense yo told you guys we have a snake that's all his or her skin She's probably like under this rock right here. And then if you come over this way, that's our uh, bearded dragon right there. Right there. Here's the plan. I've been thinking about doing this for a long time. I mean, I've been wanting to mess around and make fake designer or make off-brand designer for a long time. Not that I couldn't afford the designer, but that I felt like it would kind of make poke fun and make fun of having like these people spend the amount now, I, granted, I do understand that I just bought some Gucci ski goggles, but I realize, I also realize I like to make fun of people, and it's kind of like something I like to do. So I'm gonna flip it. Are some old ski goggles that I found in my backyard. Uh, I popped the glass out so I wouldn't ruin them, and I'm gonna find a way to try and make it so that I can take these off. This is, if you guys remember, the custom headband I made when I took it off of my Supreme boxers. Now I've never had a chance to wear out this invention of mine because for some reason I never go anywhere that requires me to have a headband. So I kind of have to decide what I'm gonna do with this piece rather than just have it sit in my room. 
I could somehow just leave it somewhere and have someone find this used to be on underwear. That is where this is from. So I'm not gonna find anything else to do with it other than a headband, but I never wear a headband. I'm always wearing hats or my hair's done. I don't ever wear headbands. So I'm gonna find a way to incorporate this and this. Incorporate this into this. Somehow turn this into this. From what I understand, these are two perfect sides. You see what I mean? When you pull them both, if I can find the other one, they're the perfectly even sides that happen to be just stuck on these two little plastic things. I never knew that, but now I have to find a way to get this off and put this on. Check that out. I got it to a point, fuck, I fucked it up a little bit, but I got it to a point basically where now it's it's the same piece that looked like before. Got that, boom, not that hard, but I'm using fucking staples, because I don't know what else to use yet, uh, and I don't know how to sew that well at least, and so this is kind of what we're dealing with. It's not gonna work that long, but once I figure out past that, we're sh we should be good. It's so, sketchy. Oh shit. I mean, that looks like. That doesn't look that bad. It really doesn't. Yo! Yo, we may have just made some supreme do it yourself with staples. Key. Low key. I just. I'm a fucking genius. Yo. Hey. I just made my, my own. Now I got some Gucci's and I got some Supreme. <laughs> I realized I was a little overexcited in that clip. But it, it took like 10 minutes to build those and I didn't think I'd be able to build them and I had this whole like thing planned where I wouldn't be able to do it. Got it. So now we got, now we got the Gucci's and then we got the shitty kind of off-brand Supreme that I'm gonna keep forever. Damn, I can't believe I fucking did it. And this piece works. Check that, look at that. The tightening mech. I just gotta fix the staples here because that's not gonna work for long. I just want to say, uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the vlog this far. Something like, and this, is, this is for all creatives, all creators on YouTube in general. We always strive to put out the best content. Some days are a lot better than others. Um, some days aren't as fun as others, like today where I didn't really do much. But I hope you guys enjoyed what I've done, how the vlog is going. I just, I want to throw that out there because, you know, there's times when you're stressing so much over a vlog, but you shouldn't, and I do, and because I want perfection. So. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, we're on our way to the gym, we're gonna hit a quick workout, and then I don't really know what's gonna happen today. It just, it's up in the air, like you, like all my vlogs. It's just, it's up there somewhere, waiting to be like, pieced in. Uh.